Yannick Sinner is inching closer to another ATP title at the Shanghai Masters. The world number one has entered the semi-finals of the tournament, beating Daniel Medvedev in straight sets. But making it to these crucial rounds at major tennis tournaments alone isn't making Sinner happy. Fans have once again started backing the Italian. It has been a torrid few weeks for Sinner. The world number one received a lot of backlash following his doping scandal just last month. Just about everyone was cornering the 23-year-old, whether it was on social media or many other voices across the tennis world, especially because ITIA, the International Tennis Integrity Association, let Sinner go despite testing positive for a banned substance not once, but twice. And while the tension with WADA's appeal in the court of arbitration for sports is still on, a lot of fans seem to have found their way back to the world number one, at least on social media platforms. Fans rushed in to defend Sinner when Australian tennis player Nick Kyrgios launched into another one of his scathing attacks on the US Open champion. In a Q&A session online, Kyrgios was asked if he would play a doubles match with Sinner, to which he said this. Not the first time that Kyrgios has attacked Sinner following the doping row. And of course, it's not the first time that Kyrgios has been that blatant. He's known to shoot off his mouth. Ever since the Sinner verdict was announced, though, the biggest critique has been the Aussie. Kyrgios, who is currently away from tennis action since he suffered an injury in October 2022, is quite active on social media. Actively attacking Sinner, that is. And while Kyrgios' past comments were embraced by fans, uh, seconded to, the latest didn't really sit too well. saw all of those reactions. So what has changed suddenly? The same fans who wanted Sinner banned seem to be in unison now, favouring him, supporting him. The biggest reason, of course, has been Sinner's continuous transparency on the matter. Even after getting cleared from ITIA, the 23-year-old has been vocal about the episode. Sinner never shied away from talking about the controversy, even after WADA has been seeking a lengthy ban for him. I'm very disappointed and also surprised. Uh, of this appeal, to be honest, because uh, we had three hearings, all three hearings came out very positively uh, for me, so, you know, I was not expecting it. Maybe they just want to make sure um, that everything is, is in the right position, and, yeah, um, I'm just surprised that they, that they appealed. <clears throat> Sinner has been calm and mature through all of this, while the noise around him has in only intensified. Sinner held his ground that he didn't consume the banned substance intentionally. Sure, many in the tennis world feel that Sinner was given preferential treatment, but Sinner's side of the story never changed. Despite prominent voices chipping, chipping in, speaking about their shock rather than supporting him or backing Sinner. While both Federer and Djokovic didn't really side with Sinner, they did point out the bigger picture. While Sinner did test positive, if anyone needs to be questioned, it should be ITIA and their verdict. That's where the inconsistency lies. Some others, like Rafael Nadal and Sinner's contemporary here, and one of his biggest opponents, Carlos Alcaraz, were a little more supportive. Alcaraz really striking the nail on the head there. Despite all the buzz around him, Sinner has continued doing one thing and doing that really well. He's not let all of this affect his form or let his uh, results dip. 
He fought a lone battle all through this doping controversy and attempted to shut that noise by winning matches, winning titles like the US Open or reaching the final of China Open and is currently competing for the Shanghai Masters title. He's a step closer there. He went about his business, continued to perform at the biggest stage. Maybe that has gotten fans around. Sinner became the first Italian to reach world number one in the world. He won two Grand Slams in 2024 and even though this incident was a bit of a hurdle, he found a way around it. And fans are probably beginning to realize that Yannick probably isn't the sinner. First Post decodes the U.S. election. Explains how America chooses its president. Your primer on the race to the White House. Everything you need to know about how America votes and its global implications. U.S. Election Explained, every Monday and Thursday only on First Post.